So, I'm thinking brownies tonight. What do you think? I was kind of, I was kind of liking the idea of the macaroon cookies. Macaroon cookies? Yeah, macaroons. You know, coconut, it's yummy. Brownies. No, cookies. Well, how about if we make macaroon brownie cookies? Macaroon brownie cookies? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. With raspberry. Can we put the uh, raspberry? <laughs> macaroons, brownies, and raspberries. Yeah. Mm, how about how about a little white chocolate melted over the top? <laughs> Works for me. Yeah, you sound pretty excited. You just reminded me of your father. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that. It sounds good. Macaroon, brownie, raspberry. Cookie, Co white chocolate bars. Bars. Things. <laughs> bars. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> Tiny house, prepper. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Bill. And I'm Elizabeth with Tiny House Prepper. And we are here today to show you how to make a wonderful, delicious recipe, a dessert recipe. You know, we get uh, requests on a regular basis from people wanting to know about where you can find Thrive recipes. Well, Thrive Life has a complete section of recipes on their website. Just go to the website and you uh, look right across the top and there's a link that says recipes. Click on there and they've got lots and lots of recipes in all different categories. And this is from the dessert recipes. Now, um, these, uh, we have it printed off here. These are actually called Francesca Neapolitan Brownie Bars. And I want to give credit to Francesca Hutchinson. And um, this is right on the on the uh, the site. If you want to try to find this exact recipe, which we'll be sharing with you today, it can easily be gotten um, on the Thrive Life site. So these are called Francesca's Neapolitan Brownie Bars. So that's what we're going to make for you tonight. You ready to get cooking? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All righty. Let's get cooking. Okay. Let's get cooking. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Let's get filming <laughs> or videoing or whatever it is. Okay. Now, this recipe um, uses the Thrive Life brownie, the fudge brownie mix, which I have heard is very, very good. I am a celiac. I cannot have the wheat. And so, um, if you wanted to make this at home, the Thrive Life brownie mix is um, very, very easy. Let me read you the directions that we have to make the brownie part of this bar, these um, wonderful bars here. Um, by the way, we're doing this for the first time, so we'll be discovering this right along with you guys. This says, um, mix well the brownie mix in a half a cup boiling water, let it sit for five minutes. That's the extent of what's gonna be involved in making the brownie part of this recipe if you use the Thrive Life mix. Um, because I cannot have the gluten, um, in the wheat flour, I've just got good old Hodgson's Mill here, but I just went ahead and got myself a brownie mix. And um, it was a little easier than trying to make sure I had all the individual ingredients. And I'll be making that, and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, I have made my brownie batter. And uh, it's here. That's going to be our first layer. Now, if I was able to use the, the Thrive Life, it would have just taken uh, three cups of the Thrive Fudge Brownie Mix with a half a cup of boiling water and just let it sit for five minutes. So, very easy. Now I'm going to be blending together uh, four cups of the macaroon cookie mix, which is just a basic pantry can of the macaroon cookie mix. And I'm going to mix that with two cups of the raspberries. One second here. <laughs> um, with two cups of the raspberries. And then I'm going to mix that with a cup of boiling water and that'll be the next thing that I'll be working on. Now this is the Thrive Life Macaroon Cookie Mix. And it's gonna take a pantry size can of this. Um, this is very good and it's something I can actually eat. It doesn't have any flour in it. So I'm gonna be putting... Have yes. you ever eaten just the macaroon cookies? Oh, yes. And? Not, yeah, they're very good. <laughs> they're very good. Yep. It's, it's really quite a treat. So that's gonna go... Woohoo! into my big bowl 
and then I'm going to take two cups of the Thrive Raspberries. Oh my, are these wonderful. They're freeze-dried raspberries. It's the only thing in here. Oh, once again, if we could just have smell vision That smell is incredible. So I will get my measuring cup here. <laughs> this is the one I got from the Pennsylvania Dutch country. I love it. And I'm going to do two cups of these beautiful raspberries. You want one, sweetheart? Not right now. <laughs> You'll hear me crunching it all through the video if I oh, do. That's true. That's true. Alrighty. So, I have the mix and I'm going to go ahead and I like to rinse things and put them away as I go along. Saves a lot of mess later. Okay, so I have uh, four cups of the Thrive Life Macaroon Cookie Mix, two cups of those wonderful Thrive Raspberries, and I'm going to put in a cup of boiling water. Let it sit for five minutes. Here's my boiling water. All right. Mix this all together. Now the macaroon mix is usually really thick to mix it in with the water, but see it ends up forming this nice thick cookie batter dough, um, and it's full of these beautiful raspberries. Okay, I am going to set a timer now for five minutes. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and get my oven preheating to 300, 350. All right, I'll be back in five minutes and we'll start putting this together. Okay, there goes my timer. And uh, five minutes is up. Okay, now the recipe called for either a... Um, Oh, come on, it's right here. Yeah. A 14 by 4 and a half inch tart pan or 8 by 8 inch square pan. What I went ahead and grabbed was my, um, what is this? Like 9 by 6 or something. It ends up use, doing an 8 by 8 just fine. So, what we're going to do is we're going to spread the um, brownie mixture on the bottom. Now, um, you can use uh, spray on this. You know, it recommends just spraying it lightly. I went ahead and just rubbed a little bit of butter on it just to, you know, grease the, the baking dish a little bit. It's really fun. The directions say to spread the brownie mix and then plop the macaroon mix. <laughs> and you smooth it the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfectly even. So let's go ahead and get the brownie mix in here. Alrighty, I'm just getting it all spread using a spoon to clean off my wooden spoon. Okay, and that'll of course really even out a lot as it bakes. There we go. Okay, now let's do the plopping of the macaroon. Yeah, it does kind of just plop, doesn't it? <laughs> and I was careful as I mixed this to make sure I didn't leave any of the mixture undampened. Make sure it was all had a chance to get well moistened. Oh, the smell. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's just absolutely incredible. Okay, I'm just going to smooth this around. And then this is going to go in my 350 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. And I'm going to grab a little spoon here, put the other one in the sink. There we go. Okay. 
All right, now that's smoothing off very nicely after it plopped. <laughs> Looks beautiful. Smells better. Okay, this is going to go in the oven then, and I'll set my timer for... I'll start out with 25 minutes, and then I'll check it. And we'll be back. All right, now, um, that was 25 minutes. So let's see, let's see how things are. Oh, that looks very clean. I am going to put this right up here. Looks wonderful. All right. It turned out that we needed more like 30 minutes for um, this to be done. It said 25 to 30 minutes, and it took about 30. Now, I had to use a very different brownie um, mix because of the gluten, so it may be that using the Thrive Life, um, you have no trouble with 25 minutes, but just check it then, and like I said, it took about at least 30. Okay, now the next thing that we will do is, um, while this is cooling, you want to let it cool 10 minutes I'm going to set a timer for that in just a moment. But let it cool for 10 minutes before drizzling it with the white chocolate. And they said another thing you can do is just sprinkle the white chocolate chips on before they cool, before it cools, and that would work. But I think we're going to try to go ahead and turn this into like a nice white chocolate drizzle. So I'm going to get a half a cup of my white chocolate chips. I've got a half cup of my white chocolate chips. All right, and I just realized something very important. Turn that oven off. And I'm gonna set the uh, bars over here. I don't want them sitting where the heat of the oven is gonna make it not cool quite as quickly, because they're done. Okay, you can see the little, like, coconutty crispiness on top there. It looks wonderful. Yeah, it looks really good. All right, now, this half a cup of white chocolate chips is going to go into a, well, the floor. Um, I only spilled one. <laughs> now, it's really important, and, you know, and they give you, gives you, gives you directions here. Um, it's really important not to overheat, especially white chocolate. There's a tempering that we need to do, or else it can end up burning, or it can end up just not working right. So I am going to put this in the microwave for 30 seconds. And we're going to take it a step at a time to make sure that we don't overdo um, our chocolate. Okay. Now, we're going to stir... It doesn't look like anything's happening, but it's actually starting the melting process very, very nicely. Okay, I'm going to put it in for 20 more seconds. Alrighty. Let that go for 20 more seconds. We're going to take this in stages, um, and then the residual heat is going to be working in the chocolate. We want to be very careful not to overdo. Okay. Yep, melting chocolate, tempering it is a real art. Now look at that. I don't think that I'm going to microwave that anymore. I'm going to give the chance for the heat that's in there to work. All right. And then I will be drizzling this across the top after the um, little bars here have cooled a little bit more. Okay, looks like our bars have cooled enough. And all it took was 30 seconds and then 20 more. And I have really lovely uh, pourable white chocolate here. I'm going to deliberately use a fork and just drizzle. Drizzle it all over the top. You can be as creative or as artistic or as you want. 
And like I said, you can actually just put the um, chips on the top while it's still hot, but it's fun to drizzle it. You want to try to make sure that every bar is going to get a little bit of that great white drizzle. All righty. What an interesting color. I've never seen beautiful purple macaroons before. And I do love purple. Oh, come on, you're supposed to be a drizzle, not a... <laughs> this reminds me of trying to put it on top of um, cinnamon rolls. There we go, just a little bit more. All right, sweetheart, you want to try one? I do. I think it'll be wonderful while they're still hot. Yum. Okay, let me get a knife. And get you a plate and we will try some of these and everything looks beautiful on Polish pottery I ah, love the, hum the hummingbird there <laughs> Now these probably will stay set better once they're cool. Really, totally cool. The top has cooled enough to drizzle on, but they're not completely cool underneath. You're cutting those awful small. you can have more. I just wanted to give you a chance to taste it. So we have chocolate and a coconut raspberry layer and then white chocolate on top. Oh my goodness. All right, dear. I'm going to try a little nibble and then I promise I'll give you one. Mm. Yeah, that brownie sun. Wow. What a unique combination of flavors. Mm. Here, let's give you a chance. I've never tasted anything like that before. <laughs> I didn't taste the raspberry, I just tasted the coconut in the macaroon. And then all of a sudden the raspberry just went pow! Mm-hmm. Wow. And yeah. of course the brownie. Hmm. You know what, dear? We're gonna do this again. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> all right, yum. <laughs> mm. So there you have it. Thank you, Francesca Hutchinson, yes. for a fabulous recipe on the Thrive Life website recipe section. Yeah. You know, this goes just goes to show that anything that you can make at home with fresh food, you can also make with Thrive Life freeze-dried food. Yeah. And uh, this is definitely something we're going to be doing again. Yep. Yeah. And just um, the simplicity of just adding water to the two mixes um, on, the, on the recipe and adding the raspberries, really, really easy. Yeah. And really different. It's very now, good. Now, what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description below this video that will take you right directly to the page on the Thrive website where the recipe is. So you can just see it and print it off if you want to do it. Yeah. And, of course, then you'll be on the on the Thrive site and you can look around and uh, see what you think. Yep. <laughs> All, right. All right. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. It's oh. fun. It's just fun cooking with you. Yes. All righty. God bless you guys. Okay. We're done now? Yes, yeah, give me a kiss. Okay. Bye. Ooh, chocolate. <laughs> Ooh, raspberry. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>
Real yummy ones. <laughs> Goober. <laughs> okay, you're right. Uh, if, yeah, if, if you are, I am. Okay. I thank you so much for these videos. I have saved money using Thrive products. There isn't any waste at all. No mess. The nutritional value for me is awesome. I eat so much healthier than I did before Thrive. For me, love the cooking videos. MG. Thanks to you and Bill for your wonderful channel and for Thrive. I wasted so much food before. We're eating more vegetables and Thrive makes it so easy to add them to most any dish. Linda W. The Coconut Bites need a 12-step program. You got that right, Mary Jean. Food is amazing. Think about it. Traditions, memories, so much happiness. But food can also bring a lot of stress. Thrive Life wants to take away the stress by delivering simple, clean food right to your door. How would that help, you ask? Well, we've done some research. Approximately 1 in 42 trillion people actually like to wash, peel, and chop fruits and veggies. And approximately 1 in 56 bajillion people enjoy throwing out rotten produce. Ew. Our research found that a lot of the stress comes from planning meals. Although 43% of the population claims to pre-plan their meals, we found that less than 1% actually do. So, we had an idea. Let's help people not stress out about food. Enter Thrive Life. Ingredients that are pre-washed, pre-cut, and freeze-dried to lock in all those nutrients and delicious flavors, and they won't spoil in days or even weeks after buying them. Ingredients that aren't loaded with additives, preservatives, or GMOs. And for those nights that you just don't have anything planned or frankly don't like the plans you did have, there's Simple Plate. It's a meal kit that's better than any meal kit you've experienced, according to our research. It's planned, prepped, and pre-portioned deliciousness. And it doesn't have to be made tonight. It's ready when you are. How do we do all that? It's basically magic. We start with the best produce picked at the peak of perfection. Then we freeze dry it in the most state-of-the-art facility. In the galaxy. We lock in the taste and nutrients so our produce is as fresh as the farmer's market, which makes it perfect for snacking, by the way. Want to try it out? Simply set up a delivery service account and start shopping. Schedule at least three deliveries in the next 90 days, and you'll become a preferred customer for free. You get all kinds of perks, like free shipping. So why would you want simple, clean food delivered to your door? I think the research says it all. Enjoy simple, clean food that's ready when you are. And make sure the only thing getting spoiled here is you. Try Thrive Life tonight.